How did you think uh, defense played today? Uh, I feel like we could have had more energy, but uh, each day we continue to get better, and that's the main thing we try to improve on. So the energy could have been better, but at the, at the end of practice, we kind of ramped it up. But we needed to stay consistent through the whole practice. Y'all got, especially the linebackers, felt like y'all had hands on balls all day today. Is that is is is, that, is there anything to that? Are y'all really putting an emphasis on, on the pass game? I would say we need to get on the jug machine. As you can see, <laughs> we dropped a lot. You know, DJ ended the practice, but we got we got to make sure we. It's good to get hands on ball, but we need to we need to put the uh, ball in the offense hands. So we need to catch them. But it's always great to you know get hands, but we got to catch them. You mentioned Derek Jackson. How does he look to you now that he's healthy? He had a couple picks today. Uh, he he was really good. He was really good. You know, me and Square not gonna be able to play the whole time, and so we gonna have to have the younger guy to step up and I feel like DJ has I ain't gonna lie he's been playing really good as a guy who went through it last year what's your advice to the new transfers who are trying to catch up with the new system uh really just stay on the playbook uh, I can say for me last year coming in you know as y'all know I got hurt at the beginning of fall camp so that really pushed me back a lot and I ain't really get a chance to go out there and uh you know get to learn the defense as well as I should so every day I just feel like for a new transfer they just got to buy into the system, get in their playbook, and then just go out there and learn and play fast. You know, it's, it's going to be different because, you know, our offense gives us a lot of things. But if you just play fast and fix the mistakes, and when you go out there the next day, try not to make the same mistake. What's your fans expect from Keita? How you play with uh, Keita just – he's an all-around great player and a great person. I feel like uh, we know we needed some size and depth at uh, cornerback, and I feel like he's going to help us out a lot. Is that your uh, shirt company you designed? Oh, yeah, this is my shirt right here. This is my motto, you know, underdog. And, you know, I just go out there every day and just, you know, with a chip on my shoulder, you know, that not only do I got a lot to prove to myself, but, like, to my family and everything. So that's just, like, my motto this year. We see that you're a leader on the defense. Is there anybody that's stepped up that you guys have been, you know, just looking at recently? Uh, really, I can say our whole defense has really stepped up. You know, we know – and we got to go out there and work. You know, we lost we lost a lot of pieces last year. And, I, you know, JP and Yusuf, they were good leaders. But I feel like now we got a whole group that's leaders, and that's going to make us better. Uh, Trevor, he's coming along. You know, you know, he had the – at the beginning of the year, he had, you know, his stomach. But I feel like every day, like I said, he's continuing to get better, and that's what we need. What have you seen from the guys up front playing in front of you? I know you lost – Pass call. How, how you think that I think they're actually playing really good. They really free me up uh, so I could, you know, run, play how, play how I want to play. You know, I don't really got to – I got to take on blocks, but a lot of times I could just run and play, and that's really what I want to do. Feels just like looking the across the line, who, who's got your attention from the other side of the ball that's that's doing some good things early? Uh, I could say – I know y'all going to – you know, it's typical, but I could say, like, Will, like, me and him – we talk after practice and we like, uh, in this coverage, like, what do you see and stuff like that. So me being like the Mike linebacker, I'm basically quarterback on the defense. He quarterback on the offense. So I feel like me and him got, he's been playing well. He's been pushing me. I know like in the training room, he asked me what coverage we were playing and how could he beat it and stuff like that. I feel like me and him, we got to have that relationship and just so we could take out, really take ourselves to the next level. The secondary got kind of picked on a lot. There's a lot of critiques of him last year. You see, like, more confidence in that room now, that camp starting? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I feel like, you know, it's, it's bad to say, but, you know, they read the media and say, you know, they say that the secondary needs some work. But I feel like every day, not just me, but every day the whole defense had a chip on our shoulder because we know where we want to be at the end of the season. But we just got to take it day by day and get better each day. When people talk about this team, oftentimes they bring up that linebacker room and what it's going to mean to this team. And it seems like you guys maybe have a little bit of a swagger about you as a room. What are you guys going to be bringing to the table this year? Uh, really just everything. You know, we had a great talk yesterday with the linebacker room and really just everybody just told their story. You know, where was it like the darkest point of their life and how, like, how did they get out? And I feel like we just not playing for each other. We playing for people bigger than us. Like, we playing for the whole defense. We know we got to be good, but we also got to make the people around us better, too. Chuck West, how did you feel the defense did in that run period, fit the run? you think that's going to be a strength for the girls' unit this year? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We did good. You know, it's always – our offense always going to give us some new stuff that we got to correct. But I feel like being physical and fitting the run, that's what we're going to be good at the most. Is it tough to fit the run when they've got 
two running backs and three tight ends out there on the field? Uh, it's, it's, definitely, all motion. it's definitely tough because you're going to get a lot of eye candy, but at the end of the day, you just got to focus on and like revert back to your training at the most because teams all this year, they're going to give us eye candy, but if you just key, on, key in and lock what you're supposed to do, it's, all, it's always going to be the same. Jaquez Oxendon has obviously lost a good bit of weight. Mm -hmm. How is he a different player? Really, he, he, he just moving a lot better. He's moving a lot better. Uh, he, me and him, he plays on square side, so I don't really get a chance to, you know, see him a lot. But I, I go back and watch the film. He's, he's doing great. He's doing great. It's great to get him back. Keaton Smith came up here for Ole Miss as well as you did. What's the deal on that? Uh, <laughs> that, that? You know, that's my old roommate, you know. So as soon as he hit the portal, I got him on speed dial. <laughs> tell, him, tell him, go ahead and get up here. You know, we trying to do something special. You know, we okay. came in together at Ole Miss, and we got we about to leave out to go to Kentucky. So let, let's do something special. Stoops said for the DBs, it's just going to come down to winning those one-on-one -on -one battles. What do you feel like the secondary behind you is going to need to do to get ready? Really, I just think the secondary just need to uh, – just, just do what they do. I feel like up front, the front seven, we got to do our job better. You know, last year we had, uh, I can say me personally, blitzing, I wasn't the best. So during like this summer, this spring, and these few days of fall camp, that's what I've been trying to uh, get better at is affecting the quarterback. Because we affect the quarterback, the DBs don't got that long to cover. And so we're not getting back there. They got to cover all day and stuff break down. So I feel like the DB just got to continue to work. But the front seven, we got to go get after the quarterback. There was a lot of buzz with one of the young guys up front today, Walker, as, as he kept flashing. <laughs> man, I ain't, man, Dion, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a different cat right there. Like, he's so big and the way he moves. Like, I feel like Dion, he, he's special. He's special. Nobody big should be able to be moving like that. So he, <laughs> he has special talent.